welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I am an old guy gaming and we're going to continue working on our base in this episode. Also, I hope you guys enjoy the episode. If you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Look at our freighter up there in the sky. That is so awesome looking. Okay, so, um, let's see. I farmed up a bunch of uh, pure ferrite off camera. Took me, I don't know, 5-10 minutes or, or so. Just went and hit all the big, the big rocks in the area. And then I laid down another um set of tiles here but what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this this back row and my plan is to set the storage up uh along the back row and we'll just stack them too high now i'm a little i'm a little concerned though because i only have the ability so far to make just one storage unit but i'm hoping that um in the quest here it uh, wait, where are we at? Log quest, base computer. So it says construct a storage container. So I'm hoping that once I build the first one, then the rest of them will open up. I don't remember that being a thing before, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and hop into the build menu here. And we're going to delete you, 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 and you. So I'm mostly just put those down. I probably actually should have used wooden ones. It would have been cheaper, but that's okay. Um just to, you know to make that spot for the storage containers so I think what we'll do is we'll just start uh, from here and we'll go zero one two three four five six seven eight nine like that okay so let's go ahead and grab that and we need uh, so we're gonna just try and line it up as best we can on uh, the the tile there so I'm trying to get myself more or less straight. That's pretty damn close there, I'd say. And then we want to try and center this here. Actually, I need to get a little closer because I can't see the line very well. But we want to try and center this on the tile as best we can. We, we can't snap it to the tile, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to eyeball this and try and get it as close as possible. So it, it'll let us kind of... Oh, come on. I need that damn thing to get out of the way so I can see the corner. Uh, it'll let us, let us kind of clip into it a little bit, a little bit. So we can sort of use that as a guide, I guess. I'd say that's lined up pretty close, actually. Um, let's go with it. Okay. Archive recovery in progress. User will be advised when recovery is complete. Consult the log to select another task. Okay. Um, now, see, it's not giving us the other containers. Wait a minute. Can I... Yeah, that's weird. Usually you see, like, all nine of them here. I only see the one. I don't get that. Because it's not letting me set up another one. Okay, well, uh, maybe that will become apparent to us later on. Every other time I've done this, I've, you know, once I've unlocked these, I've had all of them available immediately. So I hope that's not a bug. I hope there's something more to it. Because it did say, here, let's just actually look. Consult the log. Why? To, yeah, okay, so let's see here. Wait for additional data to be restored. Automated re archive recovery process attempts to restore additional data. Uh, all right, well, I guess we got to wait for that and hopefully it'll unlock more storage If not, we might need to scooch on up to the to, to the anomaly and See if we need to just buy the rest of them or something. I don't know. That's really weird But we can go ahead and do a construction terminal. However, I need to decide now uh, Where we're going to Try to see if this is lined up it's not... No, nah, it isn't perfectly straight, is it? Shit. Okay, well, doggone it. I wonder if I should re redo this. I might end up redoing this in normal mode, because I'll be able to get it a lot straighter in normal mode. Because by the time that goes down there, it's going to be... Yeah, that's not going to look good. Okay, well, that's probably a good thing we didn't put them all down right now, anyway. So, all right, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, we can... We can do the Overseer's Terminal, but I want to put some more buildings up first. So, 
Um, the, the idea, generally speaking, I guess, is that we're just going to have multiple rooms. Um, you know, that's going to kind of expand out this way. And then we're going to have an overlook type of room that's going to go all the way, you know, to the edge of the cliff here. Uh, coming out from there. So, let's think about adding another structure here. Coming off of here, I think. So, if we go into here and we go into structures, and we go into large structures... See, the biodome is pretty cool. That's something we'll probably like do farm a farm on, you know? So let's just go ahead and do another cylindrical room right now. And, see, now I can put that on top of there. I'm surprised it lets me put it on the bottom. But what I actually want to do first, though, is I want to... Corridor. Curved corridor. Glass roofed corridor. That'd be kind of cool. That almost looks like it has a glass roof, too, though. We, we need to make glass if we're going to do that. I do like that idea. Um, if we're, Okay, so if we're going to make glass, we're going to need to put down a portable refiner. I put down the little blueprint uh, construction research unit thing to see if there was uh something more i could do you know for the storage containers but i didn't see anything else in there so my my guess is we just need to keep following the quest and it'll open up eventually on my multi on the multiplayer game i have all that already done i just don't remember exactly how i did it so let's see do we already have yeah we do have a portable refiner right there okay so let's set that thing down portable refiner right here we'll just stick it right here and we'll load it up with some carbon. And we want to put in there the, uh, this stuff. That's how we make glass. So it's a 40 to 1 ratio. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll put that in the exosuit. I think that only said we needed one piece of glass. I guess we're going to find out in a second, aren't we? So the way I want to do this is I want to actually put the top part in first, and then we'll snap the foundation in under it. Otherwise, I don't think I can get it lined up straight enough. So let's go back to structures, large glass corridor. And then we want to just pop that right out of there, like that. Now, I guess the next question is, do I want... Do I want to extend that out further before we do the next building or not? Probably not. I think that's okay. I think that's okay like that. So now let's go ahead and I want to try something first. If we go to foundations and we choose this guy. Oh, not that guy, this guy. Yeah, see there's no there's no snapping going on here. So we we need to get the the building in place first before we can get the foundation under it. I know that's Kind of a bass backwards way of doing things, but um, how do I move over? Here we go. Okay, so now that should just snap right onto there. Whoop! Get my cam camera around. Uh, it, 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 there, just like that. Oh, well, that's where it cleared the ground underneath it. Huh. Okay, and now we should be able to do the foundation underneath it. And here again, I know it wouldn't work that way in reality, but that's the way it has to work in the game, because I need this to snap. Oh, 
That's still not snapping. Really? Oh. What the hell? So how am I supposed to make a nice straight even base with foundations if if it's not if it doesn't snap? I mean, I don't want to leave it floating in the air because I, that just looks like cheese. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Ah, oh, shit. So that means we're going to have to try and eyeball this. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like it, man. This thing should snap to the bottom of this building. Or it should snap to, you know, the other found... I mean, it does going down, but that doesn't do us any good. <sighs> wow, you can put one of those on top. That's kind of cool. You could build, like, a really tall tower. All right, we're going to have to eyeball this. I don't see any other way around it. And it almost looks like even doing that, it's not going to fit perfectly. Yeah, and you know what? It isn't, is it? This is going to... This is going to cost us 200 ferrite. Damn it. Oh, man. I don't know. A pure ferrite. See, the thing is, is we can put this down, but there's going to be a gap in between it. It's going to look kind of weird. I, I got to think about this. I got to think about this. That's not what I had in mind. <laughs> Plus, we got bad weather coming in. This is kind of neat, though. Look at this. We can look out the glass window of our corridor. I love that. That is neat. That is neat. Um. Yeah, I just, I just don't like the idea of not having a foundation underneath this. I know the game doesn't give a shit about it, but I do. <laughs> uh. So I'm not sure what the answer to that is. I suppose what we could maybe try and do, even though I'm a little reluctant to because I've had bad luck with terrain manipulation, is we could try and build up the ground a little a little bit underneath it just so there's no gap there. That's probably what we should have we're gonna have to do. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Unless something else just occurred to me. I just had another idea. Come on, Storm, I don't have time for this crap. <laughs> All right, guys, let, let's wait for the damn storm to get over, and then I'll, then we'll go from there. I just I just had an epiphany, I have an idea, but we have to wait for the storm to finish. So, we'll be back when it's done. Okay, storm's finished. Now, uh, my idea here is. Uh, All right, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. That's not... a hundred percent level... with that. I want to go to structures. I want to go to... Uh, large... No. Specialist, foundation, paving. So it looks like it'll clip into there. Actually, you know what? It is pretty level with... Well, it's level with the top of that. Hmm. I might... I might need... I might have to redo this. might want to redo this. Okay, here's what here's what I'm going to do. Let's put that in there. And bring that around kind of like a walkway. Okay, so it's actually it won't it won't let me put that in there. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so 
so I can put one there, one there. At least these things are pretty cheap. They're only five uh, pure ferrite each, so we can handle that. If we put one there, can we put one there? No, we can't. Okay. See, this sucks that we can't fill this in either. I don't like that idea. Okay, so let's just keep coming out with these pavers. Because what I want to do is I want to see if I can put the foundation on top of these. Because that's going to make everything nice and level. Okay, now let's try it and see what happens. Okay, so is it just that you can't put these on top of the pavers? Or is it because it's too high to snap in there? See, it'll go, it'll go there on the paver. See, that might be just too close to the building. Hmm. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this back down. We're going to lose some materials, but I'd rather sacrifice some materials and do a little more farming and get the base right than not, you know? Uh, so, let's see here. Let's take that back down. Now, can we put a foundation on top of, on top of here? That's what I need to figure out. We cannot. Really? Why not? Okay, can we put can we put um the actual prefab on top of there? It doesn't look like it. It does not look like we can do that. Well, all right. That's got to go back up there then. And um we might have we might have to go to plan B. And plan B is going to be to raise the ground up enough to where when we do put the foundation under there, there's not, you know, not a gap. Uh, so, that means <laughs> i got to go along and delete all these now. But remember, these were only five pure ferrite each, so not, not a huge loss. Um, so yeah, let's just start deleting these. Remember, I'm, I'm trying to figure all this out. This is my first time doing any extensive base building, so... I've done a little bit in the multiplayer too, but not a lot. I'll just pick the, all of this back up for now. Okay, so. Um, so yeah, it'll let us put. Okay, so it'll actually snap a room underneath there. So why in the hell doesn't it snap the foundation under there? That's what I wanted it to do. I just, I mean, I know I could, you know, just put rooms down there, but I wanted everything to be up on those foundations because I just thought that looked really cool. Yeah, nothing's ever easy, man. Nothing's ever freaking easy. Yeah, see, it doesn't snap the foundation. And even if I eyeball it and get it right, there's going to be a gap there. Okay, so let's, let's try the... Raise the ground idea. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Um, I really hate working with tram manipulation. 
because it is really janky. Okay, so we need to um, we need to go here and switch to terrain mode. Okay, now let's get the the little guy and. Do we want to change the shape to a cube? I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's just try it. I just hope this doesn't bug out on me later, that's all. acting weird. I want to I want to get the plane set better. See how do I oh rotate plane x Okay. Interesting. Okay. So let's see if we can fill in a little more like right along in here. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. I just want Base. Where's base? Okay, base. There we go. I almost wonder if I should have maybe done this with the sphere instead of the the cube. really hard to do this and get it nice and straight and even at least the few times I've tried to do it anyway here let's uh whoops I didn't mean to do that Fill that little spot in there. Whoops. <laughs> oh, shit. Hit the wrong damn button. Go back to there. All right, let's just let's just try uh, the foundation now and see what happens. I kind of have a feeling like I really jacked it up. <laughs> so, see now there's too much ground for me to get it in there at all. Shoot. Well, this is not working, is it? Doggone it! It's not working. What if we try it from this side? 
Almost. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. No, 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 no. It's just right on the border. Boom. We got it. We got it. Okay, cool, cool. Now, um, I'm going to have to remove some of the ground now, but the the good thing, though, is we got it in there so it's nice up, you know, and snug up against the bottom of the uh, prefab there, and there's not a gap there. That was the whole thing that I was concerned about. Oh, uh, okay. So we really screwed up the ground, though. <laughs> uh, shit. So, let's see here. Let's see if we can kind of... No, no, no. Go back to this. Yeah, we want that mode. But we want to... I want the small one. And I don't... I think I want to do this, this, the cube. I'm just going to kind of do like little chunks at a time instead of just going balls out here. We can't even get inside of there at all. I don't even think it's possible to get inside of there, is it? Oh, you know what? Something else just occurred to me. Something else just occurred to me that we could do here. Okay, let's keep trimming some of this back here. My plan is to, you know, put these pavers all along, you know, the building. Once we kind of get all the structures in place. You know, so that's going to kind of hide all this janky ground at that point. Or at least get it, you know, so it's not super terrible looking. Okay, I've got an idea. So what? here's what we're going to do. We're going to... This is going to be expensive to do, but like I said, I don't care about farming up more resources. I just want to get this right. So if we go into here, okay, and we delete that. Now what we should be able to do is put in this... And what that's going to... What the hell did I just do? What that's going to do is that's going to clear all of the ground around it. Except for now there's a gap down there. Oh man, is that going to bring us back to square one again? <laughs> okay, hold on. Now, let's um, let's delete that and put the foundation back in. Yeah, we're back to a gap because when I did that it pushed the ground down. Son of a bitch, we're back to square one. <sighs> ah, shit. This is not working out so well, is it? I didn't even I didn't even get that in there straight to begin with. All right, let's take it back out. Game, you're killing me, man. You are absolutely killing me. So even if we put this in and got it in Oh shit. <laughs> it's just not working. When I go when I go to hit the trigger, it just bumps my hand enough to to screw it up. We are wasting a shitload of resources too. So if I if I can get it in so it's reasonably lined up. Okay, reasonably lined up. So we do have the gap there.
What would happen? I'm just curious. This is going to be expensive, but I'm trying to figure out how things work, okay? So if we pull that back up and we pull that back up. Okay, what would happen if we do this? Let's put the room on top of there. Now, will it let us put a corridor in? It will not because it's not going to line up. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Now we know. Now we know. Damn. Well, okay. I'm not liking how this is working out. I'm just not liking it. So, these I love these foundations. I think they look really cool. But they you, they're very they're very hard to work with, you know, if you want to use multiples and get everything to line up. You just can't do it. It doesn't seem to be possible. I mean, I had it somewhat close by manipulating the train, but I mean, that's a kind of a dumb way to do it anyway. You shouldn't have to do it that way. The way it should work is you should be able to snap those to the building just like you can snap the building to them in order to get it to line up, but it doesn't work that way. So, um, that being the case, there's one other thing I want to try here. So let's pick this up and pick that up. That's a waste a lot of materials, but it is what it is. And what I'm going to do is let's go back to putting in the corridor. Right there. And we're going to put in the uh, the room above it. Okay. And I guess what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to keep going this way. I'm going to keep going this way. So let's go back to another corridor. Except for I don't have glass for this, do I? i got to make another piece of glass. Okay, let's make some more glass. Oh, there goes the timer. All right. We should actually have more glass in here. We do. Okay. Damn, timer was loud. Because the ground starts to get higher over here. So what I'm thinking is this. Let's put in a corridor. Okay. And now let's put in another circle room, like so. And now let's see if we can get a foundation under there and have it look halfway decent so there's not like a huge ass gap. There's going to be a huge ass gap, isn't there? I don't have enough pure ferrite to do it anyway. Well, no, I wouldn't call it a huge ass gap. It'll be a little bit of a gap, but it won't be huge. And it is look it does look like it'll clip into the ground on this end anyways a little bit, so I probably can live with that. I don't think that gap's going to be terrible, but I'm going to have to farm up some more pure fair right now anyway. So, um, I'm going to do that. And, uh, probably what I'll do, guys, because you get the basic idea, right? Probably what I'll do is I'll just work on this off camera um, and bring you back when I have all of the rooms situated, at least for the first part of this build. Uh, the way that I want them, okay? So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget uh, that I am out this week, um, the week of September uh, the 16th, uh, that that week there, uh, on business. And so, I'm pre-recording these episodes. I, I'll have this one out for you, and I'll probably try and get at least one more out. But then you won't see any more episodes from me until I get back the week after, okay? So just wanted to let you know what's going on with that. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.